Hello, my name is Chloe. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you my September book haul. So August, I was quite controlled with my book haul and I thought I was going to be in September too, but things happened and I have 41 books to show you. Like that is excessive, but it's fine. None of these books I paid like full price for. There's a book box. There's a lot of charity shop books. Um, so I don't feel bad about purchasing any of these. I just have nowhere to put them unless my reading really speeds up and I start unhauling books. Um, so yeah, there's a few. Um, I won't talk for too long about each one. I'll just do obviously like what they are, why I've got them more than what they're about. Just because a lot of these books I don't know anything about and I don't want to keep saying I don't know much about this. Um, so just sort of why I got it, if anyone else was involved, that sort of thing. Um, because we'd be here for far too long if I gave you synopsis synopses synopses <laughs> of all of these books so um i'm thinking the best way to start out with this book haul is to be the gifts that i got in the month um because there are a few from some lovely lovely people um so the day before i'm filming this video i went to see emily um at novel novels and she gave me a couple of books from her house <laughs> the first one being a court of thorns and roses by sarah j mass so you may or may not be aware but this was my book club pick for the month of september um sisters approximately that i've run with Brittany. so we read A Court of Thorns and Roses in September and I really, really loved it. And um, Emily had this lovely hardback, so I got that from her. And I also got A Court of Wings and Ruin and A Court of Mist and Fury. So I still don't know which one's number two and which one's number three. I've got time to figure it out. I definitely want to continue with this series. I do have the paperbacks. But these were just too pretty to let her get rid of so i own them now <laughs> also from emily's house i got the declaration by Gemma malley um she was unhauling this and wasn't sure whether i would be interested but Gemma malley has written one of my favorite dystopian books the killables um, and this is another like dystopian world so i've got really really good expectations for this one so we'll see if it lives up to them and also from Emily but one that I actually received earlier on in the month that she posted down to me was um our stop well, down she lives south of me she posted north she posted up um I've got our stop by Laura Jane Williams which is a um London underground romance really uh, like a missed connections advert um and the reason I wanted this is when I was in college and we'd take the bus every day and um, we used to read all of the missed connections ads and they were mostly from the tube so I just thought it would be a really really cute romance to see what really happened obviously it's fiction but what really happens behind those missed connections ads next I have a gift from Laura well we were in a book exchange over on Facebook and I requested a book from her and she was kind enough to send it to me um and that is A Thousand Perfect Notes by CJ Drews. It's this lovely edition with sprayed edges. Um, she wrote me a little note and it has got a signed book plate. So I am really excited to read this. I actually, when I was with Emily, we found another copy of this book in a charity shop there, which Emily has bought. So me and her are going to buddy read this book in January. So I know that's a long time away, but you know, pre-planning. Um, so this one will definitely get read pretty soon. And finally, I came home yesterday to the sweetest gift from Victoria, from what Victoria read. And that was Get Alive Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. She also sent me a kilogram of Haribo Giant Straubs, which are my favourite favorite sweets ever which is why they're on my wish list obviously but was so so happy and she got me these presents as a gift for starting my new job which I start on Monday so it was just like a good luck gift and I'm really really excited this was on my wish list mainly because I heard it was a cute romance but let's not lie the main character is called Chloe so I couldn't help myself okay now let's go on to the books that I bought for myself that weren't from charity shops um the first one being the woman in cabin 10 by Ruth Ware um I'm pretty sure it was just my friend Sydney had mentioned reading a Ruth Ware. Maybe she read The Lion Game. I'm not even sure which one she actually read at this point. But she mentioned Ruth Ware and books that she wanted to get her hands on. So I bought this one. I really don't know whether she's read this one or not. I'm sure she'll tell me. Um, but I don't know much about it. It's just Ruth Ware. And I've read The Turn of the Key, which I really loved. And I've read In a Dark Dark Wood, which I kind of liked. And um, so I'm intrigued to see where this will fall on my scale of Ruth Ware books. Um, saying that, I also have The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware, which I already have tabbed up, ready to read in October. So this will be another one, just reading it because it's Ruth Ware and Will I Like It, Turn of the Key in a Dark Dark Water, like same reasoning. Also in that little haul for myself, I bought The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn, which is another book that Sydney was talking about. I'm pretty sure she bought it, um, but basically I just made a small Amazon order of these three books. Um, 
don't know much about this apart from the fact that Emma from Emma Books was raving about this when it came out and she said the author was really nice so I had it like in my mind from then and when Sydney mentioned it I thought why the hell not. Next I have a book from the works and I'm pretty sure I only got one book from the works this month which is amazing for me. I got um, Ted Bundy Conversations with a Killer by Stephen J. McCowd and Hugh Ainsworth. Um, why did I butcher that so much? I really don't know. This is just like a Ted Bundy non-fiction. It says he was a sadistic monster, a master manipulator. His grisly killing spree left 30 innocent young women dead. Awaiting his execu execution in a Florida electric chair, America's most notorious serial killer speaks. Um, I am massively into true crime, like insanely. I know quite a lot about Ted Bundy. Um, I've listened to many, many podcasts on Ted Bundy. So I just thought it would be another new way to consume Ted Bundy content. I don't have more to say than that. Right at the start of the month, I went to a car boot sale and I managed to get my hands on A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Let's roll with that. 420p. So, you know, had to. Don't even really know what it's about. I just know that everyone's read it and said it's depressing. And the spine's pretty cool. 20p couldn't leave it. And finally the last book I bought myself so I did get this second hand through another bookseller and that is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban the illustrated hardback edition. I don't think more needs to be said on this one apart from the fact that the hardback illustrated editions are absolutely gorgeous so couldn't leave it. Now a mention of a kind of gift kind of competition win. I have The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. Um, so I won this through the Facebook group I'm in for winning their August reading challenge. So we did a big reading challenge that lasted the whole month and everything you did earned points. And I managed to get the most points in the group, which meant that I got this book off my wish list. And um, this is the third book in the Cruel Prince series. I've read The Cruel Prince, haven't yet read The Wicked King, so I'm really not ready for this. But it was on my wish list ready and it's just the most gorgeous cover even though there's a snake on it and I'm terrified of snakes, but I can still appreciate how pretty the snake is. Right, on to charity shop books, and there are a lot. The first one I have here is An Anonymous Girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen. Um, I read The Wife Between Us by these two authors and really didn't like it. I gave it one star, but for the price I saw this in a charity shop, I thought I'd give their other work a go, give it a chance. I also got The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. Um, I've been getting weirdly into fantasy lately and I know this is quite a hyped up book so I decided to give it a go but really I'm not like desperate to read this I just thought it would be a cool thing to have to reach to for if I really really want to. Next I got Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid so I really wasn't too bothered by this even though I loved the um, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo um, I wasn't going to pick this up unless I found it in a charity shop and I did. And there has been an announcement for the next uh, Join the Six Readathon. So maybe I'll get involved with that, with this book somehow. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I couldn't leave it. <laughs> Again, on the little fantasy kick I'm on lately, I picked up Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Um, I don't really know anything, but it's Lainey Taylor and everyone seems to have read this book. I am going really quick, but you would not believe how many books are still left. Um, so next I got The Giver by Lois Lowry. And I bought this fully on Brittany from The Nevering Readers. Um, what's the word recommendation she says I'll literally fly through this in a couple of hours and she can't believe I've never read it and the fact I didn't read it on the day I bought it was you know I had to and I'm sorry I didn't but I will get to this soon I promise um next just a spontaneous pickup in the charity shop was Paper Butterflies by Lisa Heathfield this seems to be some sort of hard-hitting contemporary um doesn't everyone deserve their freedom maybe it's not maybe it is more like dystopian -y. do you know what I don't know but charity shop by couldn't leave it. Next one that everyone seems to want to read or have read, The Hunting Party by Lucy, Lucy Foley. So I was really happy to find this in the charity shop. Pretty sure I paid about 50p for it. Um, it's like a closed setting thriller, which I do really like the idea of, but I don't think I've actually read one. But it really appeals to me. Like when there's a, a hunting lodge full of people and you know one's the murderer and who is it? Like I like that idea, but I just haven't read one yet. And this one's really hyped right now. Um, next, I've got another pre-planned buddy read with Emily from Novel Novels. And that is The Keeper of Lost Things by Ruth Hogan. So I just showed her my charity shop haul and she said she wanted to get to this one. So this is actually our November buddy read. Um, know nothing about it. It's like a literary fiction, so... Not something I typically typically read, but how pretty it was in the charity shop. Couldn't leave it. 
Next, I got The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson, which I have read and it's one of my favourite books of all time. Um, but I have a really, really weird edition. It's like squished, wider, and it has an elastic band around it that doesn't really hold anymore. Um, and I've always thought it was a cool edition, but it doesn't fit on my shelves nicely. So when I saw just a little paperback that will actually fit on my shelves, then I just grabbed it. Next, I got How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. So this, again, I know nothing about, apart from everyone seems to uh, be reading Matt Haig, uh, particularly Reasons to Stay Alive, which they've advertised on the back. So I don't know much, but that's the theme of most of this video and I said I wasn't going to say it too many times. Um, next I've got The Chain by Adrian McKinty. This was fully influenced by Connor over at Connor's Library Corner who read it and I'm pretty sure he liked it but it's like just a thriller. I don't know more. I don't want to know that much more um, to do with children being abducted and parents needing to abduct another child for their child to be released. Very very confusing but could be a good time. Next I got How to Make Friends in the Dark by Kathleen Glasgow. I've seen so many people talk about this like forever. Um, I also have Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow which I've had for a very long time and haven't picked it up so what's the harm of getting another of her books that I won't get round to straight away. Next I got The Toll by Neil Shusterman being the third book in the Scythe series. So I read Scythe this month and really really liked it. I have um, Thunderhead book number two so I thought I may as well grab The Toll while I saw it going insanely cheap in the charity shop. Um, next I got Open Road Summer which is uh, by Emery Lord sorry which just seems like a very very cute Cute small town America romance. I've been reading a lot of like adult smut from small town America like as a setting so a YA contemporary should be kind of cute. Okay we have one more stack of charity shop books uh, the first one being Salem's Lot by Stephen King. So I said I wasn't gonna buy any more Stephen King. I'm reading it you can probably see it behind me in October and um, the only Stephen King I've read is Gerald's Game and I hated it. I gave it one star and um, so it I've got pretty high expectations. I wasn't going to get this but it was 25p and Brittany said that she doesn't get scared very easily but this freaked her out so I'm gonna hope that it freaks me out too. Next there's the other Ruth where I was looking for uh, The Lion Game so I believe this is the one that Sydney actually read same reason as the other Ruth wears. I just want to see if I like it. Next, I found an advanced reader copy of Snake Skins by Tim Major. So this actually came out in May 2019. So it was a pretty long time ago. Um, but it's like a dystopian where people shed their skin like a snake. Looked interesting. I also got The Fandom by Anna Day, which is an uh, advanced reader copy. Um, but this came out October 2017. Wow. So that was a very long time ago. Um, but I have seen this book like floating around. I don't know, I'm assuming that this is pretty much the same as the finished book. Um, I might do some research into that before I actually read it because I know that's like a pretty hyped book and I wouldn't want to read this and get the wrong impression. But you know, an arc in a charity shop, I'm going to grab it. Next I have Murder Most Unladylike by Robin Stevens. Um, I was going to be taking part in Believeathon in November but I've decided not to. But even after deciding not to, like this book has been talked about quite a lot by middle grade lovers on booktube so I decided to give it a go it's like a detective story but middle grade so excited um, next I have another arc of The Return by Rachel Harrison which is actually on the back um, pink sprayed edges I think this one was signed maybe not maybe I've imagined that um, it looks cool I mean it says how much would you give up for your best friend seems like a good time and I'm excited oh and it's actually came out 30th of April 2020 so very recently well not very but this year next I have Picture Me Gone by Meg Rossoff Rossoff I never know how to say that I believe I've read one book by her as a teenager but I don't remember maybe what I was I don't know either way this is signed I did not know that um someone was donating books to this charity shop that were just in amazing condition and signed so very grateful to whoever that stranger is it's got nice um, silver lettering on the hardback um yeah don't know much apart from the fact it's a contemporary and it's only this big so I can fly through that when I need to and the last charity shop purchase The Upside of Falling by Alex Light and this one is also signed well we have a signed book plate um and it came out this year so I was just so excited to find this I don't even really know what it's about it's a YA contemporary in a high school but I can get all that from the cover um but I just couldn't believe it was real um is why couldn't I stick to reading romance books? Why did my life have to become one? Which I love the idea of because my life 
could pretty much be a romance book and I was considering writing one so this is just going to be great. So the only books I have left now are from um, book unboxings so I've got my reposed box for September and I've got a mystery box from a box of stories. I have published, published? Yeah published, separate videos on those so if you don't want to be spoiled for those videos then leave now, sorry, um, but I'm just going to show you the books I have from those. So first from the repose box, so again if you want to skip this bit, like close your eyes and ears for a second, um, and that is Love and Other Thought Experiments by Sophie Ward. So this doesn't seem like something I'd typically pick up, like at all, but it's a collection of short stories, well not short stories, like short, I don't know, short stories. I'm a bit clueless with this one, I'm not going to lie to you, um, but it seems like an interesting time about Rachel and Eliza planning their lives together. One night in bed, Rachel wakes up terrified and tells Eliza that an ant has crawled into her eye and is stuck there. Rachel is certain. Eliza, a scientist, is sceptical. Suddenly their entire relationship is called into question. Um, it is quite short, something completely different, and I can broaden my horizons with it. I'm getting tired now. <laughs> and finally, I have my um, mystery unboxing from a box of stories. I will be doing another one of those soon because some people have been so 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 nice to me to use my referral code so I actually have more money off another box. I'm thinking of buying another one really soon, maybe wait a few months actually. Um, the first book I have here is We Must Be Brave by Frances Leodet. Um, this is a, obviously the reason for getting these, it's a mystery box, I don't choose, um, but this is a World War II sort of literary fiction historical fiction, literary fiction. I don't really know what the definition of these words are. December 1940. It is set. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And I have already promised this book to Emily if I don't absolutely love it so much that I need to keep it. Um, it's, it's just pretty. Everything's pretty about it. And if I'm not 100% a fan, then this is going to Emily because she's already claimed it. Next, I have When I Wake Up by Jessica Jalvi, um, which is a thriller of some sort. Um, Anna, a much beloved teacher and mother of two, is left savagely beaten and in a coma. Um, it's giant, it's like a 500 page thriller. Interested, but it's gonna take some time. I just noticed something on this next book that I didn't say in the unboxing, and oh my god, how have I missed that? Um, this is In the Dark by Andreas, 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 and I'm not gonna be able to say that last name, like I would not even know where to start. But the title actually has braille, like I don't know if you you can pick that up on the camera. And this is Jenny uh, was once part of an elite, elite police unit tracking Germany's most dangerous criminals. She was the best until it all went wrong. A disastrous mission saw her abandon a wounded colleague and then lose her sight forever. So that is why we're getting this braille. Um, again, a 500 page thriller. So that's going to be fun. And the final one in here, which I am weirdly excited to try, is The First Confessor by Terry Goodkind, which is this giant adult high fantasy. But you know, I'm going to give it a go. So those are all the books I hauled in September. How I'm going to take a thumbnail, I really don't know. I'm going to try. It's going to be interesting. <sighs> We'll, we'll do this, uh, but I think we can safely say this might be my biggest haul on my channel yet. Oh wow, let's hope that I calm down in October, and I probably will because um, I've just been off work for like three weeks, so a lot of the time I'm popping down into town, grabbing a book or two, stopping in a charity shop, so that's why this has happened but you know hopefully I will calm down <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this video if there are any books here that I need to get to absolutely immediately then please do let me know have a chat about any of them down in the comments with me thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one